All right. I have back with me, Kimberly. Yep. The boss. The boss. <laughs> On our daughter's birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Karen. All right. So, I came in here to ask you to make the private roadmap list mm -hmm. for the week. And I did. Okay, you did. But we were going to record it, and you said, what? What was the question you came back I with? I actually wanted to know how I actually trade some of this stuff. What do you Especially, do with the profit roadmap right, list? What do I do with the list after? So why did you ask me that? Because I wanted to know what I was talking about. <laughs> like huh. I'm picking out all these okay. things. Well, you, you know, I've got you making the list and the list was pretty easy to make, right? Yeah. So, but you wanted to know what in the devil you do with the list after. Yeah. I want to know what you do with, <laughs> what you do with the list when, after it's all done. All right. Like not you, but not me, you. me, but you. Right, right, right. <laughs> what do they do with it? What are they gonna do with the list? <laughs> All right. Well, see, I have the profit roadmap class, but we can pull up the slide out of the class, and we've got it. You know, we'll pull it up on the screen here. Yeah. And see, we talked about one. It breaks through the roadmap. The roadmap is kind of like the orange line that we've had on the chart. Mhm. Mm and that's kind of what I've nicknamed it. You know, the roadmap. And now, so we have one price breaks up or down, you know, in this, in, in the classic case, matching the market right now, the market direction's up. I like trading market direction because 90% of everything goes with the market direction. Right. So, but you didn't know that, did you? But it makes sense. It, yeah, that's what I mean. It makes <laughs> sense. I didn't know so, that, but it makes <clears throat> sense. So yeah, so you get the price <clears throat> breaking up in one, and then it does some stuff. Like you said, it made three tops on the the chart that we pulled up originally mm -hmm. and then it comes back to the roadmap right that's that's point number two and that's the that's the key that's the ones i've had you looking for for the last couple of weeks mm -hmm. right? Point, right find the ones that break up through and then come back and yes. then some of them kind of sit on the roadmap line for a little while while some of them just like the cvs went up here came down bounced and took off like that one was down there for like four days five days and then started taking off yeah. Well, then you have number three, point number three. That's the, that's the entry. Okay. That's where it starts breaking higher, and then four is when you get to your profit targets, and really you have a little resistance at that prior high before you came down to point two, and that's where, you know, you can see it on this chart over here that we have up on the slide, where it had where it tried once, tried twice, and the third time was the charm, baby, and it took off on through. Okay. But once it got up to the extension target, that was it for that trade. Mm -hmm. But it really, if you were in shares, it never got anywhere close to coming back to where you were. You got in all the way down here at three. Mm -mm. So that's really the the best example of a profit roadmap trade. Okay. <clears throat> and what we're looking for when we do the watch list is we're looking for those ones that bounced off the roadmap, you know, the the road roadway, the roadmap line, and we're looking for them to give people a chance to get in right there while it's still close to the roadmap line before it takes off. Right. Okay. That makes sense. So I think. you would talk to me about maybe opening a brokerage account. Mm hmm. Mostly just so I can see the pattern for myself. Well, you know, you already have. A retirement account. <laughs> well, I know, but that's, I'm not touching that. I'll mess it up. <laughs> You're not going to touch the money I made for us? Then? No. <laughs> I'll right. mess, I'll lose it all. Well, or maybe. Or buy something spectacular. So you want to do another video where we kind of talk about different brokerages? Yes, that works. And we I... can go through different ones and see if you like anyone. Mm-hmm. Can you name any off the top of your head? Tastyworks. Tastyworks, okay. E-Trade. E-Trade. Robinhood. Robinhood, three. Um, I can't think of any others. Can't think of any others. All right. So there's also we could think of TD Ameritrade. Oh, I knew. Yeah. And then there's Interactive Brokers. The one you like, just because the name was Alpaca, but I yes. don't. I don't <laughs> recommend you get one there because it's for Al. It's for um, using like Python to trade for yeah, you. Yeah, I. That's why it's I didn't not, say it that. It doesn't one. really have a platform. Every time you say it though on your videos, it makes me. I laugh a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we've got those, and then there's there's some other ones that people like, like Webull, and all those other ones you see in, in your YouTube ads. Mm -hmm. You know, but I think maybe we should stick with one that I already use, so I can help you more. Okay. 
Do you have a preference so far? Probably Tasty Works. Tasty Works, you think? All right. I think it'll run on your uh, Chromebook. She's just got a Chromebook, so mm -hmm. we'll see. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to wrap this video up, and we'll come back to you and see if we can start working through what brokerage she might actually want to open. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.